welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new, my name is Kerry and today's video has two things in it for you. First of all, I have got a, well, that would be second in the video, but uh, yes, I've got a slow cooker cauliflower cheese soup recipe. It is delicious. My friend Kate messaged me a little while ago and said, I've just made cauliflower cheese soup in a slow cooker. It's amazing. And I was like, okay, give some in the recipe. She said, well, I sort of made it up, um, which is what we do. Um, so she told me how she made it, and then I adapted it myself to make it my own. And I love it. It is smelly. <laughs> it smells like cabbages <laughs> when you're cooking it in the slow cooker. But it is delicious. Um, so really, give, give it a go. It's really delicious. Okay. And also, in today's video, I have tried out a new vacuum cleaner. It's a little change from what I normally do on my channel. But the other thing that I do is clean the house. I like a nice, clean and tidy house. I'm house proud. So when Lavoit got in touch with me and said, would you like to try our new vacuum? I said, absolutely. They are the uh, same company that make the Kasori air fryers and I love them. So I was definitely going to try another uh, one of their branded items. And I have tried two different vacuums in the past and big branded ones. One I don't like at all, the other one is okay and I've never used a stick vacuum before or a cordless vacuum, this one here. So I have unboxed it and I'll show you everything that comes with it. It is the Vortex IQ40 Flex Series Cordless Stick Vacuum and it is um, my first time using one and I'll let you know what I think about it. I'll show you everything that comes with it. Um, but yes, I'll show you unboxing, I'll show you everything that comes with it, and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so I have um, unsealed all the sellotape and everything, just to make it easier for me to open, but I haven't opened it yet. So we'll have a look and see what we've got in. Oh, nice. So we've got a quick start guide, so I don't have to go through a, um, a manual. That's really handy to get going. And then in here, we have got, oh, there's another quick start guide. And there's our manual. Lovely. And what have we got? It's packaged lovely. Tools. There are lots of tools in it, apparently. So I'm um, looking forward to being able to hoover my car out a little easier without having to use our great big normal vacuum cleaner that we have, this will be great. And there is the main components. Packaged really well. I always worry when it's a um, an expensive item that they're going to be damaged when they arrive. Oh, it looks nice so far, doesn't it? Okay, let's get this all unpackaged and put together and we'll have a little look at it. So I'm just going to quickly unpack everything. There's the, the vacuum head there and the main vacuum head that attaches, attaches to the stick. And we've got our spare filter and the crevice tool. And that was the battery, I believe. Move the box out of the way and then I'll pop it all out so you can see everything. So there's the main vacuum head, the crevice tool and then the flex stickers at the top. You've got the mini vacuum head, the spare pre-filter battery and then also what's coming out now. Let's tidy it all up and that's the, the vacuum body. It's a really good weight and uh, that there is the uh, charging dock which you can attach to the wall and charge the vacuum and at the top right there that's the little two-in-one dusting brush and then we've got our charger as well so many tools you've got something for everything and it's lovely it looks really nice as the battery I'm just setting it all up and giving it a go um, it needs charging first before I use it properly um, there's the flex stick and there's the main vacuum head and it's lovely. It's got a really nice weight. It's got little headlights there on the front. And it's um, got a nice swivel as well for going around corners and around your furniture. Really, really nice little vacuum. So I'm going to pop those off and put them back. And then it needs charging for about four to five hours to charge fully before you first use it. So I'm just going to charge it up and then I'm going to give it a good test. 
Okay, so that is everything that comes with the vacuum. And you've got the, the flex stick there, which I love. It's perfect for getting under the kids' beds because I find all sorts of things under there. And I normally have to move the furniture to get under and it's just brilliant. My other favorite thing about it is this little attachment here. So this um, is perfect for hoovering the stairs. I love well hoovered stairs and normally I use the long thin attachment that comes with a vacuum and I love it. I love this. I love really well vacuum stairs and the first filter is on the top here. So how easy is that to take out and clean? It recommends that you take it out and you tap it out and clean it every time you use it and it's so easy. Just and it just pops back in. And I mean some of them they're a pain to find the filters and everything. And the other thing that I like, so I've watched my mother-in-law with her cordless vacuum and she puts this whole thing without the attachment on the bench and um, charges it. And you do have a docking station with this, which was in the unboxing. Um, but also, there's the battery. So I take this out, and because I don't have anywhere at the moment to put the dock, which hopefully I will do soon, so I can just hang it up. And I just charge the battery and pop it back in. And when you turn it on, automatically, it goes on to auto. But then you've also got, so you've got the auto button here. And then you've got this button, which I really like. So you can increase the pressure. And if you turn it off, because it's very loud. If you increase the pressure, it uh, gives you those lovely hoover lines that I know a lot of people like. It's got the headlights on the on the main um, stick. Again, I like the cordless bit. And then you've got all your attachments so you can clean the car and get in all the awkward nooks and crannies. And also the brush attachment, which is great for hoovering and dusting your paintwork at the same time, which everybody knows paintwork gets dusty. And um, I love it. I think I'm converted. I, it's... It was, it was a review, um, Lavoie asked me to review it myself and, um, and I've not been asked to say anything in particular and I, I genuinely love it, I really do. You've got another filter in here and also, and you would have seen in the unboxing, the spare filter which is brilliant. You don't get a spare filter with anybody, anybody else um, and I have had to have parts replaced on my other well-known branded vacuums so and then there's your empty empty the hoover so it's easy really easy to use and it's amazing and also another little thing which um when it charges you've got these three lights here and you know when it's charging up so when it's the one bar it stays full it stays um like a block color and then it flashes the next two and then these two stay a block color it, it's just the thought of everything really um and I'm completely converted. I love vacuuming my stairs with this now. It's <laughs> it makes me so happy. I just like, I just that feeling, I can, I don't have to go and get the big vacuum out of the cupboard and plug it in and move it around and, and I've been using it for a week. So I've really, really used it and really tested it and yeah, I'm sold. Um, I really like it. <laughs> it is, it is a vacuum, and it is, and it's, and it's easy. I just grab it out the cupboard, and I just hoover quickly everything. When I blow dry my hair because it's dark, there's always hairs all over the carpet, and I can just go and grab it and hoover up. Sorry, vacuum. It's a British thing, isn't it? When you say hoover instead of vacuum, but I can vacuum up um, straight away, and I don't have to like get on my hands and knees and uh, tidy them up because I can't be bothered to go and get the corded vacuum out of the cupboard, but. Lavoie Vortex IQ40 is my new favourite vacuum cleaner and I don't think I can be without it now. I haven't had my big corded vacuum out of the cupboard since I opened this. It's in the cupboard under the stairs and it hasn't been touched and it hasn't been plugged in. So I am converted. Thank you so much Lavoie for giving me this to um, review. I've thoroughly enjoyed it as much as anyone can uh, vacuuming their house. So I'll leave a link below if anyone wants to check it out. It has just been launched in the UK. It's brand new and definitely, definitely worth it. So while I'm busy through the day, I am going to chuck our tea into the slow cooker. We are having a cauliflower cheese soup. And here are the ingredients that go in now. Put the cheese in about half an hour before it's due to um, be served. So I've got 
um, just roughly chopped because I'm going to whiz it all up. I've got an onion, a carrot, a stick of celery, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, a uh, cauliflower, which I've just broken into florets, got some salt and pepper. I'm going to make up a litre of vegetable stock. We're going to have a, um, half a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, and a teaspoon each of thyme and oregano. Literally, I am going to chuck all of that into the slow cooker, give it a good stir and pop it on low for about eight hours. OK, so here we go. Okay, I'm just going to pop this all in to my air fryer, air fryer, slow cooker, slow cooker. <laughs> Get the rest of it in. This recipe was inspired by my lovely friend Kate. And I tried it out and it is delicious. I made some changes. Mine is not the same as Kate's recipe, but she is my inspiration for today's dinner. So, black pepper, some salt, just about a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, half a teaspoon of paprika, and I think I'm going to put about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper in as well. And then a teaspoon of coriander. Sorry, oregano, not coriander, oregano. Getting all my words wrong today. And a teaspoon of dried thyme. Here is my litre of vegetable stock. Just pop that all in. Keep an eye on it if you can add a little liquid if it needs it it shouldn't do though because the slow cookers do retain the liquid really really well and then we'll give this a bit of a stir it doesn't look like much now but it's so so good there we go that's it that back there out the way lid on pop that on to low and I'll come back and check it probably in about six hours or so here we go this has been cooking for about eight hours well about uh yes about eight hours um it tastes delicious when it's ready but it stinks to high heaven when it's cooking the whole smells house smells like cabbages but it will be worth it it doesn't look like much now but I'm going to give it a whiz with my hand blender and then we will add some cheese and let it continue cooking to melt that cheese there we go all whizzed up and then we're going to add some cheese in there so you can stand up there while I just do this so I have some cream cheese, about 60 grams of cream cheese, whoops, and I have 200 grams of grated cheddar. And I'm literally just going to pop it all into the slow cooker. I grab my wooden spoon, give it a good stir, and I'm just going to leave that to cook for another half an hour or so. Let it all melt in and it will be delicious and creamy and really really tasty okay we'll come back and show you when i've dished it all up in about half an hour and here we go there is the finished soup it is delicious really really delicious got some crusty bread and i've just finished it off with a little swirl of cream and some extra uh, black pepper really easy really tasty no time at all just uh chop it in pop it in the slow cooker saves money really good for you there you go. There is my uh, cauliflower cheese soup recipe for the slow cooker. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, check out the link below for the Lavoit cordless vacuum cleaner. It is amazing. I've loved using it um, <laughs> as much as you can love using a vacuum cleaner. And I'll leave a link for that below and also the link to the recipe on my website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.